All rise. Court's in session. Be seated, please. To be considered for an award by my peers is extra special, and it is an honor in itself. I'm extremely pleased for the opportunity uh, to celebrate with the members of uh, Garden State Bar Association, uh, attorneys, other judges in the community, the longevity and the strength of the Garden State Bar Association and all of its members. Um, certainly, um, the citizens, the organizations and corporations that have been served by the Garden State Bar Association over the years has been very magnificent. Well, my mom, uh, most certainly, Martha Karen Gentalva Robinson, and she made sure that I did the right thing at all times. Then there was my dad, John, uh, who is a military person, so I need not say uh, too much about that, uh, except that he was kind and generous and straightforward. There was also my uh, third grade uh, teacher, Nellie K. Parker. Nellie K. Parker uh, was the first African American uh, in the schools in my hometown. Uh, Nellie Kay's um, brother uh, was the late uh, E. Frederick Morrow, who was the first African American executive um, in the White House who worked with uh, President Dwight E. Eisenhower. Um, through my parents' uh, connection, they all grew up together, uh, Nellie Kay and uh, E. Frederick, uh, I was able to uh, take advantage of opportunities um, and the sites and education opportunities in Washington, D.C. Uh, when we travel there to uh, visit E. Frederick. Yes, a service is the way we develop our lives and we develop the world. Um, service is necessary in everything uh, that we do in order to progress. I define service uh, as that uh, of a teacher who has a responsibility of developing our minds so that we can become whatever it is that we're going to be. I also see uh, service um, in the light of uh, military persons, uh, men and women who are out there protecting us um, throughout the world, day and night. I'm always eager to participate in career days and boot courts and mock trials um, to energize uh, the youth or anyone who uh, is excited about the law becoming a part of the legal profession. I especially um, focus on organizations uh, that are doing programming around uh, youth. Uh, programs such as the Color of Justice, uh, which will be um, sponsored by the National Association of Women Judges. Um, and programs such as your own Guard State Bar Association and Association of Black Women that deal with mentoring youth and uh, answering questions and inspiring them uh, to become part of the legal profession. As an African-American jurist, I perceive Judge Roger M. Yancey as a pioneer, a pioneer in uh, 1956 when he became the first black judge in New Jersey. I also perceive him as a pathfinder, a path maker, and a trailblazer when he was elevated to the criminal division in 1960. Because of him, um, some of us are able to be where we are in the uh, judiciary today. There had to be a first. He broke the ground. I uh, certainly feel that um, the Roger Yancey Award uh, must be continued uh, as an inspiration uh, to anyone who is thinking about entering the legal profession. I want to thank the Garden State Bar Association for considering me for the Roger M. Yancey Award. And uh, I want to salute you for the work uh, that you do, you continue to do, and um, certainly I want to be a part uh, of anything in the future uh, that 
transpires that would allow me, uh, in my capacity, uh, to bring information to young folks or to anyone uh, that is interested in the law. I also want to thank uh, my friends and family and colleagues who are here uh, for your support and most definitely for your love.